so we work on gas turbine design. It's like take an ice cube in your hand and hold it on a welding torch. And your challenge is keeping the ice cube solid. What we do here is exactly the same. The temperature at which we burn these gases are twice the melting point of the metal that we use to make them. This brings a lot of uh, interesting challenges to the work. And this is where the upcoming technologies like additive manufacturing is showing a lot of promise. It's a new way to design. Additive manufacturing offers a lot of possibilities and flexibilities for Siemens in, in three areas basically, which are spare parts, and then also fast repair and also fast manufacturing parts. But uh, the current state right now shows that there is still a lot of research necessary to make that productive to benefit the business even more. The first contact I had to UNCC was actually the UNCC affiliates meeting from the Center of Precision uh, Metrology, where the conversation started about metrology and its application to additive manufacturing, which then eventually actually led to the partnership that we are now forming. We have a very long and very strong relationship with Siemens where we will start to really explore all the aspects that are needed for success in the metal additive application. In subtractive manufacturing you say okay I'm going to start with a piece, a block, a rod and then machine it, take away some parts of it. In additive manufacturing you start from a metal powder now you can take that powder, melt it, and have it re-solidify, and do that in a way that you build up a structure. People talk about it as 3D printing. Additive manufacturing will have the ability to design parts in geometries, and, and internally complex geometries, that we were not able to build before. This ROI funding is a true collaboration. We start with the raw powders, we will characterize the powders, then send that information back to NC State. Their part really is looking at building these additively manufactured parts. And UNC Charlotte, of course, is um, looking at the in-situ characterization, so developing sensors to find defects that may form as it's being created. I view this ROI grant as very much the start of something. There's going to be applications in almost any area where there is currently manufacturing. What is even more beneficial in that partnership is the topic of collaboration between university and the Siemens businesses. It offers us the possibility to work uh, with the technologies that might be not mature at the moment. We can test them out, we can see where the benefit for Siemens businesses will be. The opportunity is building a very solid base of additive science and technology here in North Carolina. And now additive gives us a very unique lever of, okay, you got an idea? Okay, let's print it. I will be fair in saying that we are only limited by our imagination now where this technology can go.